Hi, my name is D.K. Rowley. I'm the pastor of Rosewell Christian Assembly. I'm also a chaplain for several things around around the community, and um, and I and I believe COVID is a very serious serious situation that affects so many people, and it impacted our family. We uh, first my daughter got it, and then next thing you know, she got life flighted, and and then we got it all, like all of us got it. And I wound up for the first time in my life being hospitalized. I'd never been hospitalized in my whole life. And I wound up two, two, two days in this wonderful facility. And, and I just wanted to let you know that it's, first of all, it's a very serious thing. I mean, really, when you get it, you start thinking about eternity. Uh, I mean, and I did there for a minute. I was like, oh, this might be it, you know. But right after I got the pneumonia portion, I felt really, really like, okay, what do I do? Went to the ER. And they're like, oh no, you're staying because <laughs> I had pneumonia. And so they wound up uh, taking me in and I just experienced some of the most wonderful care you could ever get. I, you know, I knew this hospital is good, but it just was amazing the care, the level of, of, of uh, thoroughness that they have for things. And everybody from the CNA to the person that's changing your garbage to all the way to the doctors and their staff was just the nursing staff. Everybody was amazing. So I, I felt really good. My family got extremely well taken care of the whole time we were in, involved. I believe that the choice whether you get the vaccine or not is not an issue that should be a divisional thing. It shouldn't divide us as a community and as human beings. And I believe that very strongly. We need to accept each other. In our church, for instance, we have people that are you know, very strong about vaccinations and we have people that, that are the other way, but we still get along because you know, we're under the same umbrella. So I really truly believe that it's that we can't let it go that way. We can't let the news and the and the media kind of whip us into shape and into little corners and 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 that kind of thing. Um, but in saying that, I again I ask that people take it seriously and that take the the measures seriously. If they have to mask up, if they're in a close proximity with other people, they feel comfortable doing that. I feel like we should practice social distancing. I believe that that if you are sick in any way, a cough, flu, whatever, that you have to be cognizant of that and realize how it can affect somebody else and maybe put somebody else in a bad spot. So I truly believe in that. I think we have to stress that we have to go above and beyond and be extra kind, especially to those workers, healthcare workers that are trying so hard, working hard shifts sometimes. Uh, go above and beyond and, and, and be a blessing to them and thank them and be kind with each other. I think it's really important that we are kind with each other about situations, not letting things divide us.